and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm testing out these acrylic paints that I bought from Jackson's Art. These paints are just their studio acrylics so they are really affordable but they are light fast so I thought I would give these a go. I'm going to be taking a look at these seven Jackson's studio acrylic paints in this video. They all secure with this little cap on top and I was really surprised actually at how tight that sits on top and it's actually quite difficult to then pull it off so if you have sort of low mobility in your hands this could be an issue for you however I did find that it secured really well in place and I don't think that the air would get to the paints just to dry them out. I'm using my very new glass palette that my dad made for me. It's a frosted glass palette and I think it's going to work really well for my paints. Now the paints go down onto the palette really easily because of that really small cut in the nib. You can easily control how much paint you want to come out of that bottle and you can easily squeeze it and I found that they came out of the bottles really easily. I decided to swatch each colour twice, once straight from the bottle and the second slightly watered down and I was quite surprised actually at how transparent some of these paints were directly from the bottle to begin with. I'm testing out magenta, Hansa orange, phthalo blue, prussian blue, Payne's grey, sap green and burnt umber today. These are all the paints that I purchased from Jackson's Art. If you are interested in checking them out I have a link in the description box where you can get 10% off of your first order so definitely use that if you want to try these paints out. I'm going to be testing them out on a mini canvas board. I'm prepping the board with a wash of the magenta paint because I do like a really bright colour to pop through in some of my painting. I like to see a little bit of that underpainting coming through and I really like that contrast and the unexpected tone of magenta or an orange to pop through. I'm using the Payne's Grey just to add in the block shapes of my painting. So I'm working on a cliff beach painting in today's video and it is based on the Norfolk coast. So it's one of my local beaches that I like to go to and I just thought it would be a really nice little painting to create. Now onto the paints themselves. I bought these paints to work as a studio paint for sketchbooks or ideas, not necessarily for larger scale paintings that I might put on display. However, these paints actually are light fast and I think for their price they offer incredible value. The light fast ratings range from good to excellent for this selection of paints and if you have a good look on their website you will see that actually they are really well priced. For a 200ml bottle they are £5.70 and for the larger 500ml they are £10.50 so you do get a good amount of paint for your money. I also found that the items were shipped very well packaged. Everything was wrapped in paper and they also use very limited amounts of plastic, which I thought was excellent. Jackson's also ship worldwide. So if you're looking for some acrylics and you're not based in the UK, have a look on their website because they might ship to your country. I found that these paints laid down on my canvas really well and if I wanted to blend in they blended very very well. However with this painting I'm trying to achieve a more painterly texture so I don't want my colours to blend in completely. I want to see my brush strokes and I want to see layers of paint. So I'm going to see if these paints will be able to achieve that style. As I'm looking to work on my painting technique and I want to to practice with these paints in my sketchbook and on these small canvas boards so it's really important for me to be able to achieve that with these paints so that I can work on my painting technique. If you are enjoying my video today then don't forget to subscribe it would really help out my channel and I'm really close to hitting 2,000 subscribers. Okay so let's talk about some of the aspects that I like and some things that I didn't quite like about these paints. So first up is the pigmentation. These colours are really highly pigmented and the paints are really nice consistency. They're thick heavy body paints so if you're looking for texture in your work these would be really good paints 
it's for you. The finish is a satin finish so you don't get that high shine of a paint which I like because I don't want to see lots of reflection on my acrylic paints. So all in all I do like the finish of these paints. And according to Jackson's Art, these are the best priced studio acrylics on the market. And I think that I would agree with that, I think they're really good quality. However, I did find that some of the paints were not as opaque as I was expecting and I did need to add a few additional layers. So that's one thing to bear in mind. I did find that where advertised as opaque, some of the paints were slightly more transparent than I expected. I also found that the drying time with these acrylics was really quite fast and sometimes on my palette where I had mixed colours it had started to dry very very quickly and it had also created a film over the painting so when I was mixing that in I had dried paints mixed in with some of my wet paint and then that would move across onto my canvas and it didn't look the best. So that's one thing to bear in mind, these paints do dry very quickly so you might want to add some additional mediums to slow down that drying time with these acrylics. If you've tried out these paints let me know in the comments or what you think of them. I think the good definitely outweighs the bad with these paints, they're highly pigmented, they hold texture well, they are light fast and Jackson's offers a really decent colour range for these studio acrylics so I think they're definitely worth trying and I would highly recommend them. Especially if you're a student and you are on a tight budget. So there you guys have it. Let me know in the comments what you think of my painting. Any of the products that I have shown in the video today, I will link in the description box so you can go and check those out if you want to give them a go yourselves. If you have enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.